Hi, I'm Tracy, and welcome to Sweet Bay Lane. The wood project we're about to do in this video is going to be the perfect addition to your spring home decor. So let's go ahead and get started. Now for this DIY, you'll just need a few simple supplies, but the main star of this DIY is going to be this bunny wood cutout that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Now once we've removed the hanger tag, we move on to painting our bunny, but first we're going to cover its cotton tail in some painter's tape. Then you'll just proceed to paint the bunny any color you prefer. I'm going to be using this blue fog by Anita, so you can purchase it at Hobby Lobby. Just make sure that the base paint is going to be of a light color. Once we have our base color painted, we're going to come in with a dry brush technique. I'm going to be using a chocolate dark brown for mine, Espresso Bean by Anita's, but just make sure that your distressing color is darker than your base color. Now that we have our dry brushing done, we're going to come in with two types of sandpaper. One's going to be a fine grit and the other's going to be a coarse 80 grit. I'm going to start with the fine grit and just hit the edges of the bunny and then come in with the aggressive 80 grit and distress the rest of the bunny. Then once you get the project sanded, you'll come in with a damp paper towel and just remove all the dust from your distressed areas on your bunny. Okay, that looks perfect. Now we're moving on to the fun part of this project. And that's going to be stamping a design of your choosing onto the bunny. Now I picked this floral pattern stamper and I'm going to be using a like an antique brown ink pad. And you just cover the stamper and then you stamp your bunny randomly as I'm showing you here. I absolutely love how this came out. I hope you do too. If you do, go ahead and leave me a comment below letting me know that. That'd be great. I'd love to know your thoughts on it too. And once you get your bunny stamped on both sides, you'll then flip it over and remove the tape from its cotton tail and voila, you're finished with your adorable stamped bunny. Well, thank you for watching and I'm so grateful to have you as my subscribers. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. We'd love to have you here at Sweet Bay Lane. Well, until next week, happy crafting.